demoralizing. I spend a long time cleaning this car. Yes, it doesn't look like it will enter a concourse show, but there's a lot of love that's gone into this clean. And at the end of it, Monica says, right, next time we'll just take it <laughs> to a professional. Yeah. Today, I am going to do something I, I wasn't sure. So this water smells like old cleaning liquids just being used and recycled. I am going to do something I didn't think I'd do before. I'm going to go out and rebuy a tent in anticipation for some moto camping. All of my camping gear, since I can't remember the last time I used my wingman of the road tent and all of the gear, it could be two years ago. Since we were moving places so often, I left it in Monica's mum's allotment, then went back to the allotment when we moved back into our flat in Belvedere and everything was eaten by rats when we went to get our stuff out of this allotment shed of course it's it's my fault leaving it there but everything the sleeping bag the tent everything so i'm going to go to decathlon and buy a full new camping setup for the bonneville because i think within the next week i'm going to do an overnight camping trip somewhere in england we'll take you with us I've got no idea what to expect. I don't know how expensive tents are. I don't know how expensive sleeping bags are. It's been so long since I bought any of that stuff. But let's see what I can find. I need something that is... Cheap. <laughs> yes, <laughs> cheap. And also something that's easy enough to strap on the rear of the bike. And also, because I'm lazy, I need something that's very, very quick and easy to set up. Otherwise, I'll lose interest and never camp again. So it's small, cheap and easy. Small, cheap and easy. Let's go to a rather uninteresting retail park. Mm -hmm. You excited, Monica? Yes. Let's go. Oh, one other thing. Monica just said, don't show the other side, it's filthy. Look, I'm not gonna show the other side. So little faith. What I am going to show you is this. You don't need to zoom in on it, it's fine. This, since I did the review of the Fiat, I've done, we've done, 27 and a half thousand miles. I did a 200,000 mile review of the car and I thought I'd update you. It's on 27 or 227 and a half thousand miles. How much has it cost us to run this car for the past 27 and a half thousand miles? I've had two invoices. One of them is for full brakes and discs all around and that cost 340 pounds. That's annoying because I left it too long with the, the pads and it ended up eating into the discs. So that was a bit unnecessary through my laziness. And the other one, standard service, which is 206 pounds. And that brings the total to 546 pounds. 
in 27 and a half thousand miles. Don't you think that's brilliant? Because that's just not any 27 and a half thousand miles. That is from 200 thousand miles to 227 and a half thousand miles. Continues to be by far the best car and the cheapest car to maintain that we've ever had. And it's running so sweetly. I won't turn the engine on because maybe it rattles a, a yes. lot. So I won't turn the engine on so you don't have to hear the rattle. But apart from the rattle, it is as sweet as a nut. If anyone's looking for cheap Fiat, I was looking yesterday. I don't know why I was looking. I just have an addiction to looking at old cars and bikes. You can actually pick these up for about £800 now. Really? Uh, it's incredible. I mean, the market value of this must be about £250 with the mileage. <laughs> but £800, and I promise you, get a 1.2 litre petrol engine, it will go on forever, and they're so simple to maintain, you're never going to have any issues at all. We've come to the right place. So, last tent I had, wingman of the road, beautiful quality, lovely materials, but it was on the smaller side. Check out this one. So this goes down. Wow. All of this, all of this this is crazy now i want to go camping imagine sleeping in this level of luxury <laughs> this is a completely different type of camping oh, that is you could have four people in this tent sleeping in that bit imagine this as well bike parked outside set this up i don't or know how long this will take here. or even parked in here you can actually set up a nice little place to eat and this would so easily fit on the bike i'm going to show you something else i've just seen have a look at this so that's, so that's number one this would is you, number one you buy that? 140 quid is it ridiculous i buy something this huge or actually would it transform camping or would you be too lazy to set no, uh okay i say no yeah there's a lot of work with this this leads me on have a look at this i've just seen it for the lazier camper for you two seconds so this is when i think you literally just pull this cord two seconds easy easy to pitch easy to pack up by pushing this button you have no idea how tempted i am to push this but i'm scared that i'll embarrass myself but this is still that that is not bad that's not bad at all I'll buy this inflatable. Decathlon, I mean, okay. Smaller one, 30 pounds. The two second one. Okay, so if you want one that's two seconds, 130 pounds. If you want a simple one. Oh, the beige one they did. That's quite like a small house. This one's 30 quid. So if I fancy just saving a bit of money, I mean, my feet, yeah, just about. But there's no specific joy as, you know, I can't set up my own little home here in the evening, which I, <laughs> I kind of like the idea of, uh, I like the idea of trying camping, but almost glamping. Yes. So these are all fine, 100 pounds, 140, but Monica, you've got your eye on this one. Yeah. So maybe this is a bit too far. This one, Fred. This, yes. or this one. Oh my God, look at this one. Wow. Okay, that's too far, isn't it? That's too big. That won't work. But the one at I the have... end would work. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll stop filming now. In fact, just before we do, we're gonna have a look around, then I'll show you my pick. Have a look at how many tents there are. All of the tents up there, Mm -hmm. Tents down here, and you've got extra things like chairs. I've just seen this. You In fact, while chair. we're here, you can get a chair. In fact, that's, that's too big. may make it as wide as a car. But mm -hmm. chairs, mats. While we're here, I'll show you this actually. So, chairs, mats, inflatables, so it's actually comfy to sleep. Mm -hmm. I've never had one of those. Mm -hmm but that could be a game changer. Mm -hmm. So there's your bed sorted. And... Do you need a sleeping bag? I need a sleeping bag. The rats ate that as well. 
But here, look, look at all the sleeping bags. So you need to spend choosing a sleeping bag. 25 quid. Mm -hmm. Very For 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, I need it colder than that. But sleeping bags here and mountaineering sleeping bags. I mean, I assume they're better, 70 pounds. So maybe I'll get one of those, that's 70 quid. And some other stuff here. I mean, I don't need to get too technical. I don't need hiking gear. This is, this is just no need. But sleeping bag, tent. We'll carry on looking for bits. I'll show you my picks. I will definitely be buying something today. I'm discovering the world of tents. Take a look at the size, soak that in. You need one of these, which is a pump, mm -hmm. and this tent is 300 pounds. And the bag, as I showed you, is that big. This may look like a lot, but this, the size of a small apartment, there are no tent pegs or poles that you have to put together. The whole thing's inflatable, so it's incredibly quick to set up doesn't say exactly how quick but it says it's incredibly quick because you don't need to actually fit the poles through and feed the poles through the holes mm -hmm. you just pump these up with an air pump and then this is all attached immediately mm -hmm. so it literally just builds itself from you pumping the air into all of these bits see no no piping so this could go up in 10 minutes this whole thing this is blown my mind this is the future of tents oxygen monica's now more excited than i am this is what we need in reality if two people go camping tent i think it's a four-person tent but this is the tent that we're in now that we're looking at reason this is probably the number one the inflatable ones are heavier and physically probably twice this size so that is good and i can stand in here mm -hmm. and this is proper luxury inflatable mattress mm -hmm. i think probably essential two sleeping bags and would need two chairs mm -hmm. so this this would all have to attach can it fit? to the back of the bike can it fit that is the question. I think we can do it. Do you? Yes, I think so. Pricing, 140 pounds, about 80, 80, 165, 205, 285, 365 mm -hmm. for a full camping setup. Final thing to check. So we'd have that on the rear rack. That there. That stacked on top. <laughs> but they do have things to strap on. I think we can do it. Do you? Yeah, I think we take everything. Yeah. And then I'll get home and marry everything up to the bike. But the, the essentials, the only thing that's not essential here, I think we even need this inflatable mattress, otherwise it's really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Essential, 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 essential. The only thing potentially we can get away with is not having a chair, but it's so nice having a chair at the end of the day to yeah. sit on. Yeah. So let's just say it's all essential to save messing about. So what's the cost in total? About, what did I say, 360-ish. Okay, a very nice hotel room. 365. For a lovely hotel room, yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry, oh, in that respect. Okay. Yes, you could get a... How often will you do that? Well, the amount, time, the amount we're spending here it would have to be camping minimum twice a year. Will you? Even if we don't want to, to make the most of it. So even if we hate it after the first time, we must continue camping because this is a lot of stuff to buy. Do you want to have a think about it? No. It's a big purchase and I'm not sure if you need that. Okay, if it's only me, I need that and I need that. I need two things. Monica, how sure are you that you want to I'm go I'm not camping? sure. I'm excited about the tent because it's so nice, but I hate camping. I don't mind camping. So maybe it's a waste of money. If it were just me then, 
I still think I'd go for big tent. Just I okay, want to see what it's like having a feeling of space. Yeah. The other option, basically, we've got it down to the final two. It's either this one or that one that goes up in two seconds. But this is so nice. You know, at the end of the day, I can bring my panties in here. I can unpack everything. I can mm -hmm. do whatever I want to do in this bit. It's quite nice. But so can you build this on your own? Can you build this tent on your own? We watched a video just now on YouTube of a couple two building people. this, and they were both smiling. <laughs> so <laughs> they looked like they were having a lovely time. And with all of those smiles, it makes me think that I also <laughs> would be smiling building it. Okay. Yes, okay. I can. Just film it from here. It's, it's got to be 190 centimetres tall, so wide, I, I could even throw a dinner party with my neighbouring camping enthusiasts, invite them over for some hummus, maybe. I don't know how things work in campsites. <laughs> We had to leave Decathlon to try and make a decision because we spent about an hour there and couldn't decide big and big and luxurious or small and theoretically more practical. So I put out an Insta story and I did a poll. Very simply, I did a video around Decathlon and I said, do I go for small and simple or big and luxurious? 31% of people said I should go big and luxurious. 69% mm -hmm. of people said small and simple. Interestingly, about 50% of big and, big and luxurious are ladies. And I voted twice. And Monica voted <laughs> twice. So, yeah. Okay, people say small and simple. I think I made my mind up. Mm -hmm. I actually think, thank you so much for getting involved in that. I think I'm going to go big and luxurious. Oh, okay. The reason I think that, I'm curious, no more than curious, to see what it's like doing a bit of glamping, a bit of luxurious camping, going above and beyond the smallest possible tent. How luxurious can motorcycle camping be? And I'm really genuinely curious to see what it can be like. So I think that's why I have to go for a big tent. These are dangerous places though because being in decathlon, things escalated quickly. Monica kept going up and up a size. So it ended up that we were looking at these 700 pounds tents with a stove, a table and chairs, exquisite mattresses, blankets, and it looked like a, an amazing glamping pod that you'd spend 500 pounds a night at. And then Monica came up with the idea, why don't we just buy a four by four and do it really nicely? So it's ended up being about a 20,000 pound upgrade to what we were originally looking at. I've tried to calm Monica down. No four by four for now. Aww. I've just been singing the praises of the Fiat, but I think I've made my mind up. Let's go for the glamping end of the spectrum. Okay. Sorry, I, I think I'm quite delusional. <laughs> We can't go shopping together. This, I don't think I'm quite right in the head. We've been looking at tents about this size, taking tables and chairs and mattresses and two sleeping bags. <laughs> I don't know, what, we don't have a four by four. Like we're planning on moto camping. I've literally just had to snap myself out of it thinking what the hell is going on? Monica and I don't even know if we like camping. I'm 99% sure Monica would hate everything about camping. I'm not even sure I like camping. <laughs> so why are we thinking about spending 400 pounds on camping paraphernalia when we've got a one bedroom flat? So <laughs> stupid. So anyway, we had, we had an IKEA lunch <laughs> and, and basically I've made the decision here. I can stomach losing 50 pounds on a tent. Oh, that's a tent. That's a tent. I mean, look at that. That's 50 sensible, pounds. Yeah. And that's a 70 pound sleeping bag down mm -hmm. to five degrees. There, yeah, that's fine. Do you know what that means what as well? What about a mattress? No, no mattress. I need to see if I like this first before I go hardcore well, you camping. you need a little mattress. No, no, no. Oh, I can get some hay 
to pick up some hay <laughs> from somewhere. That's it. Do you know what? Simplicity, there's beauty in simplicity. <laughs> so I'm going to buy this. I don't even know. It's embarrassing if we're going to show the rest of it. And anyway, it's interesting seeing the tents. This is my setup. I'm not spending another penny on this because I don't know if I'm going to do it. Monica, I know, will hate it. I know this. We're really enthusiastic about it. Things will change later. <laughs> that was strapped to the back of my, my rear rack perfectly. And that, and you know, it's just so simple, so small, stripped back. Yeah. And that's all I need. And the mattress. No, no mattress. I'm not taking a mattress because if you take a mattress, you then need to buy a pump and everything just gets more and more. Oh, okay. I'm going to leave it. I'm only going to take that. It's fine. Okay. I don't need glamping levels. I think I was even saying I want glamping <laughs> setups. <laughs> so stupid. There. Let's go. This is dangerous. Let's go and grab a coffee and pay for this. Oh, also, do you know how I knew? Mm that this had all got completely out of hand. <laughs> this is so, Monica, I don't know why I take you shopping. We've just been in here. Monica wouldn't get out of the car because she was busy looking at glamping sites at 200 pounds a, a night. Like, Monica, this isn't glamping. I'm looking here for tents and you're, you're on Airbnb looking at 200 pound night glamping sites. It's just stupid. This, things have got out of hand, really out of hand. I'm happy with the decision made. This will be a, I'm sure, a ridiculous video, but next video I'll be touring El Lobo Cycles. After that, I'm heading off just to test the water a bit. One overnight camping trip. I'm excited. I haven't pushed myself too much financially, so I put too much pressure on myself. I've got myself everything I need and I'm genuinely excited. So watch this space. This summer will be full of camping adventures. There will be some camping adventures this summer. Okay, there will be at least one camping adventure this summer to justify the fact I've purchased it. And I'll make sure, start of the camping video that I do, which will be in the next week, I'm sure I'll show you that camping setup. But this will be really slick. There'll be no issues putting this on the bike at all. It's all so slimline. So thank you, everyone, for coming along with us on a tent-buying morning. Have a brilliant week all, and we'll see you in the next one.